Hello, this is Andre's Adventures and today we are in Hastings. Hastings in East Sussex is one of the most beautiful coastal towns in England. In this video you will see top 10 best places to visit in Hastings, useful tips for a great family day out, and exclusive aerial views of this pretty town and the seafront. Here we go! Number one on our list is Hastings Castle, Britain's first Norman castle built by William the Conqueror in 1067. Please note that you can't buy tickets online in advance, but they are always available on the day at the gate. Situated on top of West Hill, high above the town of Hastings, the castle boasts stunning views of the coastline and the town. It also has an on-site cinema where you can enjoy the iconic 1066 story. A 20-minute film on the fascinating history of the castle and the battles that decided England's fate and the story of this place up to the present day. This is a story about Saxons and monkeys. For hundreds of years before 1066, Vikings from the north had been invading other countries. On the continent, men from the north, or Normans, settled in what became known as Normandy. They also settled in England, where there were constant battles between Saxons and Danish Vikings for control of parts of the country. In 1016, King Canute became the first Dane to rule the whole of England. He found new prosperity as a fashionable holiday resort. and the new town was developed. More of the cliff and the castle were removed to create a site on the seafront for Pelham Crescent. And the north side of Castle Hill was cut away to make room for Wellington Square and Castle Cottages. Not only does this place have centuries of history to explore and panoramic seaside views, it is also a nice place for a family picnic. By the way, there is no cafe here, so if you are hungry, head to the seaside. There are plenty of cafes and restaurants here. We chose pizza at the Italian Way Place.
Number two on our list is Hastings Adventure Golf. It is a great activity for all the family to enjoy, boasting not one, but three different 18 hole courses. Hastings Adventure Golf is England's best miniature golf and the home of the annual World Crazy Golf Championship. The three courses are Crazy Golf, Adventure Golf and Pirate Golf. Crazy Golf is ideal for families and suitable for children of any age, even as young as three years old. It takes about 45 minutes to play. Pirate Golf has two battling pirate ships with explosions, huge splashes of water and a giant skull that talks to you and eats your ball. It's a great family course and tremendous fun. Allow 45 minutes to play it. Adventure Golf has landscaped gardens, rocks, fountains, waterfalls, and even a cave. Plus, ticky poles that talk to you and spit water at you. This course is a little trickier to play and ideal for families with older children. It also takes a little longer, so players should allow up to one hour to play adventure golf. All three courses are floodlit and open till late in the evening throughout the summer. Don't forget to try your luck at the lucky last hole for a chance to win a free game. Number three on our list is Hastings Blue Reef Aquarium. It is home to over 3,500 incredible aquatic animals and reptiles. The aquarium is situated near the East Cliff Lift, which is the United Kingdom's steepest funicular railway and number four on our list. If you are into art, visit number five on our list of top things to see, the Hastings Contemporary. Right here, you can also find number six and number seven on our list. Shipwreck Museum and Fisherman's Museum where you can see model ships and boats, fishing gear, historical paintings and photographs. You can see colourful boats and a 200 year old anchor outside of the museum. towards the sea and you can take a miniature train. Number eight on our list. The railway opened in 1948 and still remains a popular tourist attraction to the present day. The train will take you to the karting, the lake and amusement park.
There are many places to eat nearby, including a cafe, fish and chips, ice cream kiosk, and street food huts serving pizza, crepes, burgers, and lots more. Number nine on our list is Hastings Old Town, where you can have a nice walk and pop into an antique shop. The last, but not least, number 10 on our list of the best places to see in Hastings is Smuggler's Adventure. Set inside a natural cave, this attraction features over 70 life-sized smuggling characters including pirates, smugglers and bootleggers who used this underground hideaway to stash their illegal contraband. And of course, don't forget about the main attraction in Hastings, the beach. It is about a mile long and when the tide goes out, there is plenty of sand for beach games and sandcastles. So these were the top 10 places to see in Hastings. Let me know in the comments which of them you have already visited or would like to see. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel. Wishing you great family adventures and see you again soon.